Oh, hi there. This activity is called Cut the Cake, and it all stems from when I was back in primary school. You see, I had the hots for this girl that I went to school with, and I thought, I know, I'm going to try and win over her heart by joining her netball team. Now, I didn't really want to play netball at the time, but it was all about trying to get her to notice me. After a while, it turns out I love playing the sport, and here was a little warm-up activity that we would do before the games in order to get ourselves into the flow of things. And this is how it worked. Imagine here is my netball team of eight players, all standing around in a circle. The person at the top of the circle would start with the ball, and they would pass it around to the third person in the circle. And this is called a connection rule three. So I pass it, and then the next person passes it to the third person, going around clockwise in the circle. So that's to here. We then go around three more, three more, three more, three more, three more, and we finish when it gets back to the person who started off the sequence. Now that was all well and good. When I had eight people and I used a connection rule of three, everyone got to touch the ball. But it turned out that wasn't always the case. For example, if I had in my team of eight people, if I wanted to throw the ball with a connection rule of two, well, look what happens. I throw around to the second person around the circle. I throw it around to the second person again, second person again, second person again. All of a sudden, one person misses out, as you can see in that last pass there. So that really got me wondering and thinking for quite a long time. I'm not going to say what I wanted, but I'm interested to know what do you see that's happening here? What do you think might be the reason for this? And what do you wonder will happen maybe if you change a couple of things up? I'll leave that to you to explore.